Good evening, Leipzig. Hi, my name is Sorg and I'm delighted to have you here at the second KS Communication Slam. I can't really imagine it because the first time it's an accident, the second time it becomes a tradition and the third time it's party and I'm really excited for it. So today will be a, a bit of a poetry slam, but it will not be a normal poetry slam because we have a rule which I will explain shortly. And the stage is empty right now, but I will not be alone um, this evening. There was a YouTube video last year about the uh, moderator talking too much, but I think we will mix it up a little bit. And I've uh, found an expert to work with me. And we want to mix up our contributions a little bit and see how far we can go technically. We will um, meter the applause as we will see shortly, but first I would like to ask my co-moderator to the stage, who will help me, Leo. So, so put, put down carefully, it's, it's very expensive, yeah. Don't open it so far. We not going to reveal it to you. I, I, it's a bit like at Puff Option. We open the the box and it will beam out light. But then, um, okay. So what is poetry? It's a basically competition of poets. So poets who uh, will present texts they've written themselves. There's a few rules. Everything that's being presented here has must have been written themselves. So if it's if it's some old poets, then it can't count. It must be coming from you. You must come as you are, a bit chaotic. You don't have to be dressed up as a pope, um, except for you are the pope. But that's not what we're expecting. So another rule is, but which we will break break today, is that. Singing is only loud if it's very weird and you're not very good at your instrument. That's another rule. Uh, we may be breaking this rule, but the important rule is it's a competition. So the six minutes every um, poet has a time. You are the judges, not the person here. So we'll do it like this with a special device which we've brought, which is an applause meter. So. So now we've got to get used to it a little bit. I'll open the device slightly. I'm making it ready. So don't don't have a don't look at it. Don't look at it. So a poetry slam uh, is usually valued by points from zero to uh, from from one to ten, and that we can also kind of reflect in the applause. So a typical text is a five. I don't think it will go lower than that. But uh, here in Leipzig, I don't know how many people, uh, thousands of people here, I don't know how does a five-point applause for, oh, okay, the text was all right, how does it sound like? Okay, 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 so we are now uh, calibrating the device. Oh, it's good, okay, so that's a, it's a five. Okay. Now I would uh, now there's something very specific. so there's a one score text. It's not gonna happen, but if if it's if it's a score of one, he insulted your mother and he, they were cancelled three times and you're all uh, running crying out because it was horrible. How does that sound from you? And please please with coughing. Yeah, well sorry, uh, don't calibrate on this. There was there was an error. There's one rule which is very important at Poetry Slam: respect the poet. So don't. So clap a little bit and with a little bit of cuff. Ah, that's better. Okay. So it's it's a bit tough. It'll it'll destroy a few souls in the af aftermath. Um, so that's that's the, the lower limit that we have. Okay. Right. We've got the lower limit. And now, now get all excited and ready. So I'm, um, you just, 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 just as well as myself. So let's start with a five-point applause. Okay, now six points, please. Seven points. Eight points. Nine points. Stop. Okay, now this is where I get goosebumps. Now we'll ten soon have the ten points one. How is so good. He wanted to get this poet with you and you put that in your cupboard in your home and whenever you want to hear them, you open the door and th he loves you and he loves your mum as well. And it was such a good lyrics. You don't know if you want to cry or laugh, but he just does it. He knows it. It's a 10 point. It's like you being on drugs, really good drugs though. And, and now I really, 
I really want to hear a 10-point applause. How does that sound, Lou? Can it be this long? Um, does it does it work? Ah. Ah, yeah. Okay. So it it can, but I think there was more like a 9.5, wasn't it? Okay. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. So. Okay. No worries. We can try that again. Okay. Now for explained our rules. We see all the poets standing up. The poets are are, are kind of. Getting excited. Yeah. There's a few decks. What are they supposed to be thinking? We don't want to be bad hosts. But how do we call when. I think that's a task for the logistics. I think the lock can do something here, can't they? Hey, look, they're coming. Oh, just as if we had planned it. An applause for the logistics. I would say that just the lamps include that was a bit a bit little, wasn't it? We had to steal the lamp from Wiki Parker. Oh, I'm, I'm not quite sure how you w would want to sit there, but but ah uh, yeah, rotate it. Oh look, that's nice. Pallets, pallets as a table. Is this a student collab? Yeah. Now I really feel like writing a dissertation. Many thanks to the location team. And now we also want to make it more exciting for the poets because there's still a competition between poets. And of course, for that, we've also brought something. Oh, look, that's what we also have. It's little night lamp. As a big prize for the second Chaos Communication Slam, we have, of course, as always, the rear from my little bag, a good bottle of brandy. Ah, now you're sad you're not participating, aren't you? Ah, well, good. Okay, devices are ready. I think we're happy with it. The poets are ready. The order is almost at random. But they're not quite sure who should get on the stage first. I thought when I did this order completely at random, wouldn't it be great if it would be people who have got more experience? So we've got everything from people who were there during the last slam to some people who are very well known, which I keep forgetting. So as first on the stage, I would like from the beautiful city of Flensburg, Pia Sturmer. And hold the applause. Keep it up. So, Pia, this is your microphone. So, we're having a bit of a get to know the artist. So, you have two minutes to present yourself. Mr. Moderator, jury, audience, Mr. President, dear colleagues, audience. So, we were talking about how this is the Congress. Months ago, who told us that this would happen? That this year, thousands of innocent nerds that I never understood by their families because uh, they go to Congress. So don't talk about time. We have had time before. It's the 36th. Uh, CCC. We, we've been, this phenomenon has been known for decades and it's um, almost inevitable. So I want to repeat our um, application to finally add hackers to the Constitution. We want to be recognized because too long our um, our pr uh, private data is being made public, and this um, government doesn't have the right moral compass for digitalization. Yes, 
he can give me a round of uh, applause now. So how much data must be unprotected until everyone knows that he cannot arrest bites? And I hear them say about um, right-wing terrorism and data retention, which we need. But isn't it true? Thank you. So we will meet the applause right now. So what do we have? I would say 6.1. 6.1 it is. Thank you. Now just relax on the couch and look at all the faces in the audience. Isn't that nice? Next. What do we do? How about geographic sorting? Wouldn't that be funny? Let's go a little bit further south. What is south of Flensburg? A lot, but I, I, I don't leave um, this place often. Uh, but I've heard um, there's a nice Hanseatic city in Schleswig Holstein, Lübeck. Uh, it's known for marzipan, but also for its hacker space. But, and I want to welcome Fabi from Lübeck. So I just picked up a note from the ground, and I could just read that. I don't know. Well, instead, just let's um, take a few lyrics from children's songs and kind of ch change them. Well, it's a political time and we should make our children's rhymes a little bit more political. So it's uh, not like the little dogs are uh, swimming right now in the sea like it's in a German uh, verse, but they swam in the sea because times are changing, right? Well, coming to a, an alphabetic limerick that has several titles because I couldn't decide on one title, but the principle is becoming clear. It's a chronic Bavarians, pay attention. Beware of the chameleon. So, alpacas, Christian Democrats, fanatics, rabbits, and xylophones. So, that wasn't quite t two minutes, but I think it's okay. Thank you, Fabi. So, what does the applause meter say? It's difficult to say. It's, um, it still needs to warm up a little bit, I think. 5.9? Yeah, well, let's call it a 5.9. So, a round of applause, please. Who's next? Oh, slowly, my geographic memories f uh, work a little bit more. Okay, now we just do another order. So the next artist is somebody we've, I think, we had there last year. So I'm very, very much looking forward to looking him again. He was very excited. Then he wanted to be there, but didn't know. But then he came. It was a great idea about this express round. Um, can you start a bit um, applauding for a little five-point applause? So please do five points again. And now jump to eight, nine, and now is a ten-point applause to the stage, Alex. And keep it up while he's going up. He's got a long way, far too far up to the stage. Nine point eight almost. Hello, hi, hi. <coughs> well, 
talk for lesson. So to bend the talk and a black bobby car goes um, from left to the right, then it happened again, the same person, the same car from right to the left. Wow. Oh, it was a déjà vu. It must have been a, a, a mistake in the matrix. Something must have been changed in this matrix once. Now yeah, it happened several, many times. Neo, the chosen one. For me, as chosen one, there's only one person in the sport lesson being the last. But the last ones will be the first I'm telling you. I'm the first one who wasn't explicitly um, saying that he's using Arc Linux. Arc Linux, the A is for attractivity, like the person that I've fallen in love with once, and I had also made a stupid face when a colleague said, oh, have fun with your migration problem. I'm not a racist, but, but I sh it should be able to say in all public that I have got problems with data bank migration. Migration applied, go to line 10. Arc Linux, the A is for every day. I'm the second one who isn't saying explicitly that he's using Arc Linux, by the way. Uh, many thanks. What's is running on this this length meter? I don't know. How should I know? I can only see numbers. Is this Windows or why is it taking so long? I, I this is oh, oh it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, it's okay, it's a let's say Scientific stay, this was a seven point two. Many thanks for that. We are writing that down. And we're continuing to a very spontaneous submission. I'm always very happy when somebody comes to me, spontaneous submits, and I'm especially happy if somebody's coming from far away and then they're even saying, this is my format, Poetry Slam. I'm really, really looking forward to doing that. And now say hi to him. He's had a very long and he had a very, very long distance to travel up to the stage. So now really, really give it up to Valerio. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah yes, hi. Uh, uh, good evening. I know you can't hear it that easily, but I'm coming from Switzerland. And I thought uh, I, I, I have some, some text with me. I'm um, introducing myself in these two minutes that I'm introducing myself. I'm telling about my very, very beautiful country, which is very pretty, yes, especially from the little tiny village that I'm coming from. There is a a, 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 a uh, animal zoo, and I went through it with some friends, and then we realized that there is, it's a be wonderful, beautifully word, that there's a, a deer cage, and then that's, that's what I wrote in there. I'm taking care of deer paths. Uh, I'm somebody who's taking care of deer walking paths. Even if it's raining, and especially if it's very dirty paths that all the deers are walking past, then I'm very, very angry. And that's why, especially taking care of these deer walking paths, even if it's very foggy for my entire life, I'll be taking care of deer path walkways. <laughs> oh, this device is getting very, very hot. Oh, no, it's really, really showing some something here now. Oh, that's a very, very big thing. Okay, just a short question in the middle. Who understood this? Show of hands. And surprisingly many hands, probably it's the echo. Uh, this is uh, quite a, yeah, that's a... I think we're seeing a very stable 9.0. Put your hands together for this 9.0. So I promised we're breaking the format Poetry Slam in by bringing a song on the stage. 
And therefore, we'll be moderating a little bit through the this little bit, because when I was told our next poet what kind of beautiful songs he's writing, I couldn't say anything else but come on and go. This format, so many people then didn't take it, and I wasn't sure if this was going to take place, and then somebody came, I'm writing funny songs, and then I couldn't say no. I really couldn't say no. There's a beautiful story how we could have a guitar here, but he's going to be able to tell it himself. Um, that's why I think we're almost ready. I should have thought about something better to, to say. Who can, who can whistle the Jeopardy theme? Whoa! That sounds so weird, I'd just let it go through on stage. That must probably be the echo, that must be the echo, that must be the echo. <laughs> That's a Jeopardy theme. Who can whistle it? And now last Christmas. But I think there was probably two among you here who were actually whistling last Christmas. Stop it, stop it, we're good, we're done, we're done. Thanks for this wonderful thing, and now introducing King on the stage. Hi. <coughs> now, this measure surely has rolling releases. Right. No, that wasn't it yet. Uh, I'll tell the story later, the, the story of how I got this guitar. It was quite funny. Uh, but first, a song about what is really important in life. Uh, in two minutes, uh, mousse au chocolat. Aeons of years, we have been wondering, ask your ancestors in the last century, were there dead people, vanilla ice cream, honey, what uh, nonsense. Then they were inventors that what kept, it was left in our mind is one question, the question that keeps us going in dreary days. Must the moose be always so soft? It makes no sense. Ask Hippocrates or Einstein. Does the moose have to be so soft? What a nonsense. The moose, the moose, the moose. Not, not the animal. <laughs> uh, there is pleasure and the making. There's two sides. You can prove it to everyone. Yes, there's time for mourning and time for laughing. It can make me happy at any time. What remains when time passes? The question, the question remains. Must the mousse au chocolat be so soft? It doesn't make any sense. Ask Socrates or Einstein. Socrates. Does the moose have to be so soft? What a nonsense. I'll come to the end. The moose must. Thanks a lot, King. Two minutes to the dot. That was very well timed, my friend. Now, dear Congress, dear people at home, dear people sitting in the assembly and streaming there, uh, we have to interpret the measurement. Now, let's see if that was such a precision landing as... What was pi again? Three, about three. Let's think four. Uh, Maybe that gets us to 8.1. Yeah, 8.1. That is worth a s an extra applause. 
Uh, I'm completely ignoring my schedule. I looked and saw that I have to finish on time. We know our artists now. I'm very happy to see you all on this couch. That is great. But just briefly, I'd like to interrupt. You've had a bit of an impression now, but please raise your hands. Who of you is experiencing the first poetry slam in their lives? Wow. Where are you coming from? Okay, was included in the ticket price, wasn't it? So, yeah, fine. We don't just want, we have to continue. But I have to just reveal something to you. Next to this bottle, we thought, well, lo these logistics have done such a lot of stupid things. And there is another, pri another prize that we'd like to award. And I'd like to just entice these people here a bit more. Because the winner of this slam surely will not just take home that funny bottle, but also will receive from C3 Logistics free delivery this fantastic orange couch to their assembly. That is something, right? Now, that is at least worth a 10-point applause, right? If Kim wins, do we then get carried to the head desk? Well, he can pick it up himself and take it home. No, we'll deliver it ourselves. We'll have to return the lamp. Right, let's move on to the modus operandi that we've had. After this two-minute short introduction, you've now got first impression through that. But now we are getting down to the more serious stuff. And we would normally reverse the order, but since we all do it a bit differently, this time we'll be stay in the same order that we had earlier. And now the six-minute texts. You can be shorter, but if they are longer, if I see that on my stopwatch, I'll start to kind of unnervingly pace behind them and uh, tell them to get home. Now. That we've now we've clarified all this, and we would still like to calibrate our device a bit, and uh, therefore, I would like to ask you once again. You hate this game by now, but now with feet stamping and all that, and now you can do it. You have to give your all. Now it's your chance to really step it up. So start again. A five-point applause. We go to seven points. Eight points. Nine points. And now, with a 10-point applause. What was her name? <laughs> well, I have a bit more time to set myself up now. Right. The topic was challenges. And uh, I've got a text that I had last year. I can throw that away straight away. And I have a text that is a bit more oof. And I've got one that's a bit less oof. Lots of oof? All right. Lots of oof is requested. So, for any damage claims, I would like to refute them straight away. It's your own fault. The following text is called, well, you know there are rooms that can grow. And that's it, it goes like this. I am sitting in a room. It's a room with four walls, but towards the top it's open. You can see the sky and seven clouds. On one of those, I was sitting until a short time ago, not on the seventh one, but just below it. High enough that the fall was deep enough and the impact hard. My mind was paralyzed sitting next to me and my heart was racing my heart was racing and I said to myself my small heart and my big mind and you've closed the door the door to the room in which I am still sitting and that is our shared room it is large two years large and these kinds of rooms grow in time. There are pictures hanging on the walls. These are my memories of you, of us. They are hanging just on one half of the room, and that is my half. Your half seems empty. 
I don't know when you started to take your pictures down. You said it was a long time ago. And my heart, that's racing. It's racing from one side of the room to the other. And that takes time. The room is two years big. These rooms go in time. Every time when my heart reached one time, it co collided with the wall and I would be in shock. And my heart would get up and race again and it would race down and I would be sitting there and watch it. My mind was first sitting beside me and watching my heart and shaking his head. But by now my mind keeps leaving the room and goes on outside and tries to rebuild and live. It takes me with it. It doesn't want me to sit still and I don't really want it either. But still, I keep coming back into this room Look into my heart. Look at my heart racing. I recognize you when I see you. And I see the person I learned to love and still I don't recognize you. I don't really know anymore anything about you, what you want, what you do not want. I want to talk, but I haven't got the strength. I am tired of giving you all my strength. You gave me valuable things, great things and lots of them, but you pushed me away. Was my fear of, of for you, was that my sh shackle? I don't know. I just know that at some point you went, you turned around a few times, but you went away from our room, from which you had taken your memories a long time ago, and I, I fell and everything suddenly was changed. It was you that was so changed, different to everything, also in grief for our love, and that's why my heart has been racing for such a long time now. I can't say how long it will keep racing and whether it ever, ever, whether it ever, will, whether it ever will stop, I don't know. But the one thing I know I know my heart can't keep on racing forever, even if it wants to. At some point it will stop. When I and my mind, then I and my mind will wrap my heart into a blanket and carry it out of the room. And then I will be able to close that door, silently, quietly, and perhaps even with a smile. There is an addendum to this text. My heart has stopped racing and the door has been closed and I, I'm smiling. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. That's a lot of applause for the amount of oof involved, because oof also can be nice. Well, I think I think we have a 7.1. That sounds very good, a round of applause for this. So people, we should have at least 7.1 in applause, so please do that again. We're not paying you for not clapping, all right? So that was nice. Oof can be very nice. Well, moving on to our next slide, and I am sure he's already nervous sitting behind me on the couch. No, of course not. He's absolutely relaxed. So a 10-point applause for Fabi, please. What is really practical is that the lights are so bright that I can't even see you. So we hear the noise. Fluid and plastic, fluid and fluid. We watch um, the person in front of us paying the tribute for last night. Short relief before another um, incoming wave. And we try to relax and we try to ignore the person falling asleep. 
and we hear um, flesh crashing on a concrete and we hear the person um, wandering senselessly into the night and I hear the noise. I wanted to breathe and I heard a loud noise and faces. I try to ignore it, but I hear the noise of metal crashing against each other. And so many people just went by and ignored it um, because they were annoyed and they were not aware of the um, consequences of their indifference. And I also look away, although it makes me sick. And having no sympathy isn't a solution to our problems. So this is not a pledge for being better and I don't want to compare myself to others. We are doing what we did in the past, but we couldn't see what the future would bring. And our path is getting shorter and it's getting faster. And we are walking on top of those people who were left behind. It is not um, the same and I hide behind my frustration and in the end um, I'm a prisoner of the situation and I do not want to go on because um, I am harmed in this process and in trying to understand the world everything is passing and I hear screams of other people in the streets and people are looking for solutions to questions in their lives. And it is passing them in the street like this indifference. And we can make a collage, we can make a mixed picture of all what we see. I see ghosts coming towards us. They are invisible and not everyone can see them. And it is so easy to just ignore them, to put on headphones, um, to not see anything, to not notice anything. And I can just pass along as if though nothing happened. So uh, woos are also taking into account for the Applause meter. We'll see you at the exit. Let's look. Well, the woo makes it, absolutely makes a difference. So, Mr. Measurer, what's the result? Including the woo, we have a 5.9. So please repeat a 5.9 applause. Now, let's continue in the list. I just calculated we will be a bit, little bit late at the end, but that's why it's called K is Computer Club, right? So being on stage, I really like this. And last year I was really excited, but I'm still excited, but um, this per next person is a um, very upbeat person and uh, please give him some applause. So, just a bit of nonsense. So, hi, I promised my girlfriend that I would build an LED cloud. So, uh, I have a little bit of a problem. Maybe you could help me? I, I just have a simple problem that maybe you, maybe you could help me with. I have the LED strips. I just need some... Um, tend to keep it all together and to solder it. Well, the problem is easy to just get some tin to solder. And sharing is uh, big here. So the um, so success should be easy. But I don't have the tin to keep it all together. And after a few minutes, I'm 
getting doubts and it can't be so difficult. Maybe I'm just bad at it. Maybe I need some support. And on the toilet next to the other room, I can find some support maybe. The one with the um, standing toilet, yes. So I run as fast as I can past the sofa that is um, dr uh, driving along and past the flags, just one more room, past Tilo Jung interview, through a techno hard style rave and there's bottles everywhere and people and weird skating devices. So I'm stopping in front of a fully automated waffle making machine and there it is, the unisex toilet with the standing toilet and I enter and t I'm telling myself, left cabin, left cabin, left cabin, there's an LED and a loud hum when I open the cabin and it's locked and um, I can't lock, pick the lock, I can't manage it. An hour is long over, I'm getting angry, I'm getting tears in my eyes. I look to the ground and I slowly hear um, a keyboard typing in the booth next to me. It's cherry and it's bloom and I exhale. I just need the soldering tin. And okay, it was in bring a hammer, they said, to Ada, to the toilet room. So I follow the LAN cable to the ceiling and suddenly it clicks, something parts, maybe um, it's in the door. There was this row hammer for it, um, presentation and uh, about a physical problem that couldn't be fixed. And that was because of um, the repeated use of sincere flush. So in other words, in a textbook, you write with Tibex and uh, you write delete it, delete it until um, letters appear on the other side of the page. You do that often. Uh, so I press the flush button a million times and maybe this will help me open the door in front of the toilet. Um, Nico just had coffee so he needs to go to the toilet. He goes to the unisex toilet and he, you can hear unidentifiable noise and someone is um, hitting the flush button like it's his life is depending on it. So everything okay? I, I just need some soldering tin. I can give you some of mine. So suddenly it clicks. Oh my God, yes. Um, the flushing man runs to the other booth and um, gets some soldering tin. And Nico just is just unbelieving. And somebody who watched all of this asks, is this your first Congress? Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. Beautiful, this Congress reality. All right, okay, now, oh, I can see that. Yeah, we've got a, we have a look here. I can't see it perfectly. Oh, it's a different, a different line. Oh, should it be this one or this one? All oh, right. Okay. So let's give 8.4 points. Thank you, Felix. Well done. I'm noting that down before I forget it again. And I've also got to add for our next slam, I don't have a good introduction again. But you find everything in the Congress. It's really so true. The story I've just heard this year. Um, yeah, we had a labeling device in Hamburg and it was broken and we called in heaven. Uh, it's potentially there's somebody who's really good at labeling devices and uh, yeah, let me have a look. Oh yeah, there's somebody who's doing it as a job. He's going to come over in a minute. Um, I, I don't think there's anything that doesn't exist. 
Schätzung ab, was es sein könnte? Um, yeah, I think he, he already gave, gave uh, an estimation of what it could be, and now he's taking care of labeling devices all the time. Well, there was a labeling device that, that could uh, print little Smurfs, but now, now this time I'm really looking forward to what he's going to be saying. Maybe I'll understand him this time. All right, it's it's again me. It's the guy from before the break. I'm 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 here on the Congress for the first time, and there's just two short things since I've, I've arrived this evening, um, and I've already lost my shoes. If somebody can find them, I'm very thankful. And there's something stuck in my back. If there's a warming tape, I can put on my back. I'm also very thankful. A little bit more about me as a person. So indeed, uh, 10, 12 years ago, I've done a vocational training as an a uh, computer scientist, but um, I've, I've done it at my local school, and um, I early realized that I shouldn't be believing everything that, that people are telling. Um, for example, at the beginning, I should be learning typing with both hands. I've, I've learned it, why, whatever. And they said, oh, seven digits actually are enough, and then you've got three, which you can do other useful things, for example, holding a mojito. And, and therefore, I don't believe everything you get in your training. So there's a the text I've, I've got from this time, and it, it goes like this. Early in the morning, very early before you sit down at your computer, uh, booting your computer and looking, check your mails early before you um, say uh, hi to everybody. And uh, before you put you, uh, to turn a coffee sweeter, there comes this summing sound as it with lots of bees. <laughs> Here it is cool, but that's how it has to be because when working, it's getting very, very hot, and even the hottest ore is coming out. So cool down, the coolers are cooling down. This is where the the bites and bites uh, rule everything. It's where they're already waiting for your click and distributing new data. They are waiting the servers. They are waiting, waiting for you. And then all the cables are coming, and all the data are waiting for you. Never relax. Even the massive computers are so looking forward to see you. Can you feel this beautiful dream with me? You can't come in. This is a server room. Okay, it's 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 the hint is the security doors very tightly closed. All the guests need to stay out. If you're a thief or a hacker, you have to stay out. Not even your cousin, whoever tries, will never get in. This is very well built and it will stay this way, no matter if it's an earthquake or a storm or a fire or God's wrath. This security is the most important thing in the data center. Everything is here. Do you want to know how the do you want to know how who gets paid which pension? Or I want to do uh, which emails the city's president fought, which gardeners did something to, or which students were where everything that was done in hospitals. Everything is here, the data, wherever you are. Ah, oh, now you're curious. You can't get in. This is the room with a surface. I think, I think I'm in love. Because deep in my innest, I feel the beep and how all the devices are beeping around and how they all make this sound, how they're beeping and like it's like a beat. I feel all the sounds it's making and and it's the beep beep when all my ears are feeling beautiful thing because all the surface are making the sounds uh, with so strong voice as if they're singing from above this beep beat. All these sounds the servers make. Okay, it's making me feel so alive and it's m moving so close to me and it makes me so excited. You always look over. But you still can't get in. This is the room for the service. Wait, 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 wait. 
I've made a few lies, of course, you can in. You need just need to know from where. The right location with the right badge and with the right job, you can come in, of course, if you're a professional, then you can make take care of the others and you have all the bites in your blood and you can do whatever you want because you're the root on the server. So get ready and get ready because my beat beep can also be yours. Many thanks. Holy shit. Wow, that's, guys, also, also uh, I'm out of words. I mean, really, we've got to, like, I've got to work. Um, excuse me, guys. I'm really, I'm happy this is a planet drive. Oh, my God. Okay, so we can just, well, this is quite, quite a, yeah. So I think uh, we have to give an extra applause because these are 10 points. Wow, and applause again. Awesome. Really great. This evening hasn't even passed. Almost close. But now there is a little piece of music coming up. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, write it down. I we've looked at it. That's why I'm here. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one for Whistling Jeopardy theme. I should have announced the tempo as well. Um, well, it'll average out. I don't know which electronic remix you are currently stamping with your feet, but uh, well, a bit, a bit of, little bit of bass missing there, really. Are you ready, King? Uh, let's have someone do this who knows what they're doing. I hear feedback. 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 Well, he is sitting here. We know, but come on, giving me huge applause, Kim, please. The story of this guitar, we decided at some point that I would play this guy, the guitar, and that I would play guitar. I didn't have one, I had to find one. I went to the lock and they didn't know where I could get a guitar, but I, they sent me to Heaven. Because Heaven has a Twitter account with a larger following. And they said, no, we won't do this. Uh, but you can go to the speaker's desk and if they tell us to tweet, then we will tweet. And so we went to the speaker's desk and they sent me to the stage management and they then said, if they tweet this, we retweeted it, and uh, then we call the info desk, and they will retweet it as well. And then I was at stage management, and they said, oh, maybe you should go back to the VOC, because the VOC deals with technology, and maybe the guitar is relevant in that context. So at some point, I came to the info desk, and only one person knew that they should retweet that tweet, and then they went to the VOC, and they said, well, why are you telling me all this? And then I'm sitting with the guitar. I hope that this won't be counted towards my time. I'm we'll talking. I'll be singing about guilt, or is it blame? It is pure routine, nothing but pure routine, 40 times on the stage, if not here then somewhere else, I think I can do this. But then sometimes there is such an evening where there is no articulation for me anymore and some hours are beginning when I wake up with a hangover the next morning. Old fellow and Quentin are walking through my flat, my cats, and if I move my limbs too quickly, a feeling of exhaustion, maybe it was a bit too much yesterday, and then I'm, I try to think, I'm beginning to reflect my senses, a clear picture soon is forming, and I realize it was crystal clear the third glass of wine, the third glass of wine, 
not the first or second, no, no, the third one it had to be, because the fourth is completely excluded, and the fifth one it wasn't either, because that was free, that was on the house, and the sixth was too quick for a judgment, and then I don't remember anymore, and the blame in my head is on the third class alone. If I had just avoided that one, I would have stayed sober. If I had just avoided that one, I would have stayed. And yet again, a routine. This pure routine it's an easy game with a serious face, line by line, fast and in a hurry. But sometimes there comes such an evening when I'm running out of ideas and then I haven't got any ideas and there are no ideas anymore and emptiness surrounds me and the nothingness and this emptiness is here and I hope that sometime it will click and another stanza will be created out of magic but unfortunately it never happens and I try to think begin the reflection a clear picture is soon forming and I realize it was crystal clear the 13th rhyme the 13th rhyme, not the 11th or 12th, no, no, it had to be the 13th, because the 14th is completely excluded, also the 15th, it's a bore, it, it, it's a horror, I don't see any chance with number 15, 16, 17, oh dear, hashtag the triviality of my texts, the longer the song, that blame or that blame only goes to the 13th rhyme. If I only had avoided that one, the it would have stayed refined. If I hadn't written that one, I would have stayed a virgin. And again, no, 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 no. Always blame, blame, blame. That can't be it either. This pure routine, the very old routine. The evening, if it comes, well then, what then can you do? Who is immune? And how can I liberate myself? How can I liberate myself from that? Scream 3,000 times. Scream 3,000 times. Not just 2,786 times. No, it has to be divisible by three. Multiples of four, they are completely excluded. Also of two or 16, how would that look? Well, smallest common multiple. We're, no, we're not doing mathematics and would scream as quietly as possible but to scream come on scream scream as quietly as is possible that no one should hear you that no one should understand you come on scream as quietly as you can but scream, come on, scream. Always scream as quietly as possible. That no one should hear you. That no one should understand you. You have to excuse my anger. I'll take another wine. Thank you. Thank you so lot. Wow. wow. Our last contribution for the evening 
you ran over a bit, but we're not going to blame you. It was so, so good. Right, this is nice. Now, what does our verified thingy say? Well, it does have a display. We don't really have to interpret much. This is clearly a 7.1. It's a 7.1. And that is worthy of, that deserves an applause. Right? Now, let's all tally it all up. And uh, in the meantime, just like in the Eurovision Song Contest, we'll do interviews, right? So, where do you want the sofa delivered when it arrives? Uh, you could um, put it somewhere where it really makes no sense. So, my tip would be keep space, that's too obvious. Not, uh, put, don't put it in the assembly, uh, the sofa. Where would you put it? I would put it on top of the container. No, I can't do this. Oh, that's impossible. It's not allowed. So, Alice, who will the sofa go to? Cyclopropanilidin. Well, bless you. CCC Hamburg. So, who wants the sofa is the important question. Well, uh, in the end, it, it ends up with me, and I don't want it. So, <laughs> we'll get rid of it, I'm sure of that. So, the question is, how do you pull it in a place where it looks absolutely pointless? And my first impression, my, my first thought is the, like, the water area down in the CC, uh, CCL. And well, um, maybe we must calculate it with our delivery time. So you can forget this. So where's the sofa going? I would put it in the yard. Where's which yard? There. So we'll see where it ends up. Now, I would like to know from the um, wielder of the magic device. So, maybe make a measurement from behind. I, I think we have a first impression of um, who will be the winner. So, Fabi will be fifth place. He's to blame. Place four. So that is just um, below third place. Pia. Now it's getting close to the top. So we can't do this typical poetry slam game. So now we're doing it at finale, finals. Well, this should be good. On third place, 15 points we have. He lives in Hall 4, and he's wearing a, a bathrobe. Kim, thank you very much for this nice format. It was really good. So now it get, gets exciting. We can say it at the same time. No, that wouldn't be possible. I don't like not naming the second place. So 15.6 um, X legs. A huge applause, please. Give me a crashing, thundering 10 points applause, ladies and gentlemen. 
come on. Take your whole Antifa area. Please, a huge thundering applause for all of the poets who contributed to tonight. Um, to the translators who are working very hard. And to all the angels. Um, I don't know who to thank, but it was a wonderful time with you. And thank you so much for coming. Have a safe journey home. I think the hand microphone still wants to say a few things. Yeah, now I can. There was a 12-point applause. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for the moderation. Thanks for the measurement tape. And th see you in the next year.